Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexandra, aka The Deal Queen, on Instagram, and Al Victoria on Poshmark. And one of the most popular questions that I get on Instagram, as well as on the app, is what the heck brands do I pick when I'm in a thrift store, and why? And I know if you guys have read my blog that I just recently launched, you've probably seen my brand list. And I know that's not necessarily helpful when you don't exactly know what to look for, especially if you're not super into fashion and trends. It's kind of hard to pick out which styles are going to sell. And I do need to actually remind you guys that Poshmark and eBay are not the same. There's not the same audience. It's not the same kind of customer base, in my opinion. And you're going to have a better time selling trendier, younger looking items on Poshmark. There's always going to be exceptions to that, obviously, but Poshmark is a very brand focused, millennial oriented app. So you need to keep that in mind when you are shopping. So let's get into it. So the first thing that I want to talk to you guys about is basically how old the item is and how to tell what season the item came from. Um, I know this sounds complicated and could get kind of confusing if you have no idea where to start, but the point of this video is to kind of teach you what to look for when you're out in the store. And um, I think it's really important to remember that when you are shopping and sourcing for items, you need to know the age of the item, especially if you're selling on Poshmark. It is super helpful to know recent brands, recent trends, and recent tags. I know that sounds weird, but you need to know what these tags look like to be able to successfully pick items to sell on the app. And I'm going to use an example today. I actually went thrifting today and I got a few things to show you guys so I can give you a real example of what to look for and what to avoid in my opinion and how to be successful with selling actually a mall brand on Poshmark, which you guys know if you've been following me for very long that I actually love selling mall brands. People know these brands, people wear these brands, and they search for them on the app. Um, but I think the most important key thing is to remember to buy trendy and, you know, affordable items that people can buy um, that are recent season. So uh, I'm going to show you a couple of examples right now so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. All right, so the brand that I decided to use for this demo is actually Banana Republic, which is accessible to everyone across the country. So you really can't have the excuse of, I live in a small town, there's really nothing near me, I don't know what to buy, blah, blah, blah. You can find mall brands. Everyone can find mall brands. There's a mall somewhere within the near vicinity of your town. So keep in mind, I also live in Arkansas, so I don't live anywhere near any big department stores. And um, I do actually live in what's considered to be a small town. So first up, this is a Banana Republic dress. It is black and it actually does have some good shape to it. It's really pretty on the front. However, it's not in good condition. It has horrible armpit stains. It has makeup all over the front of it and it's also missing the belt. So these are things that I look at when I'm in the thrift store that basically tell me this item was not cared for. Whoever was wearing this obviously didn't take care of it, didn't dry clean it or anything like that. And this item is a little bit older as well. So I'm going to insert a clip of this tag at some point in the video to kind of give you a better idea. But this tag is an older Banana Republic tag. This dress is from, I believe, 2012. So that dates this dress over five years old, which does not qualify to go into my Poshmark closet. Now, keep in mind, vintage is a totally different thing. If we're talking vintage, that is another video. And I actually don't sell a lot of vintage. So I sell things that are in the last three to five seasons, and this is an older piece, and it's also not in good condition. Although it is a decent style, and I think it's a classic, I would not buy this to put in my Poshmark closet. Okay, so next up we have another black Banana Republic dress. Now, you're going to say, that doesn't make sense. Like, wouldn't you want to get both of them? Wouldn't you dislike both of them if they're both just black and from the same place? But it doesn't work like that, especially not in resale. Now, there's always going to be exceptions to this. There's going to be times where you find something. Maybe let's talk anthropology for a second. A lot of times, vintage or older style anthropology brands are hot because they're collectible. So there's always gonna be exceptions to this. I'm just using this as an example to give you guys an idea of how I shop, but there is a difference between the black dress I just showed you and this black dress right here. So this is a midi sheath dress by Banana Republic. It has a black label. As you can see, I will also insert a clip of this one. 
um, later in the video, but this is a black sheath dress, and this dress, I believe, is from 2015, meaning it is very recent, and it's in excellent condition. It's a beautiful shape. It actually has a gold zipper on the back that is an exposed zipper, and it also crosses over in the front on the bottom. I will also try to insert clips of these pieces so you can see the differences later in the video. But this is a beautiful dress, it's very recent, and it is from their newer line, so that is obviously going to be a great piece to add to my Poshmark closet. Okay, now that we looked at the two black dresses, I'm also going to show you an additional piece from Banana Republic that I would consider picking up. And I actually just sold this jacket in a different size that was new with tags for $50. So I will say that I have a lot of experience selling mall brands and recent season sells extremely well for me. That means Banana Republic and Taylor, White House Black Market, Loft, all that good stuff. Those are great sellers for me and very bread and butter items for my Poshmark closet. And I do want to remind you that you can repair items, don't get me wrong. If it is something that is really recent, it's something that's beautiful and you know will be easy to fix or to clean, absolutely pick it up. There are so many times in the day and throughout the week that I find things that I can easily clean that I pick up. But that black dress, in my opinion, was not something that I cared to clean or buy for my closet. So the next piece I'm going to show you is actually also from Banana Republic. It is this peplum tweed jacket. It has beautiful sequin detailing in it and it also has a fringy um, kind of trim to it. And this is a size 6. It has the square black label and this jacket is actually from summer of 2017, meaning it just came out last year. So this piece has already circulated through the store, been purchased, maybe worn one time by someone and donated. And this is the kind of thing that I want to buy for my closet. Okay, so I'm sure some of you guys were wondering, how the heck could I possibly know what year this was made? I can't be that good. And you're right, I'm not. So this is actually a brand that just so happens to print the interior tags of their pieces. So Banana Republic and J. Crew and a few others actually print the year of their production of the item inside. So I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see this or not, but this is the interior tag. And there is a second tag underneath that is paper that has the year that it was manufactured. So this one was spring of 2012. And this is what the older label looks like. And anytime I see this, it is not really something that I would pick up unless it's like an amazing print or it just happens to be something that's like perfect. So this is something I would pass on. Okay, and then really quickly, I'm gonna insert a little clip of these two as well. This jacket, again, is from 2017, meaning that it just came out last year. Um, and this lesson obviously applies to all brands. So knowing what the recent tags looks like is going to help you so much. Whether you wanna sell mall brands or not, um, just knowing what the brand is producing and going to the mall and looking around, even if you're not planning on buying anything, is super helpful. So we have this jacket as well as the 2015 Banana Republic black dress. So both of the tags, as you can see, are black. And they also have the interior tags as well. Banana Republic does that for every season. So that concludes our first brand lesson here on my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, please give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I would love to do more of these. If you felt like this was educational or you felt like um, maybe you wanted to see more about how to clean an item if you do find um, a good item in the store Please leave a comment below and I will be happy to make more of these videos And I can even do a playlist of some different brands. So please just let me know and thanks for watching